So, hello guys and welcome back to another episode at D and J Projects. Welcome guys, it's a pleasure having you join us on this episode. I have no idea what the episode is. I've, numbers cannot remember guys. But it is a pleasure having you join us on this episode. It is myself right now. It is Scott right there. He's just put some membrane down. He's just putting some stone down now to hold the membrane in because we are back here on this job. Getting it membraned, stoned and plum slated. Taking a measurement for the big long gate right there. And then we'll be back to install that. But if we could start by liking this video, we would very much appreciate it, guys. Subscribe if you're brand new because there's going to be awesome content coming your way and definitely comment down below because it's the best time to get a reply from either myself or the main man dad so it's membrane and it's stoning time so then this is what we're doing guys the reason the membrane's going down first and the stone's going on after is so that when the vehicle's coming in and out and drive over the plumb slate, they're not ripping up the membrane with the tyres. That's what Dad told me to do anyway, so obviously Dad's got the experience. On the opposite side, we'll put the stone down, which we've already done, and then membrane, and then plumb slate, because it's only foot traffic. You're not going to rip up the membrane. Yeah. So yeah. attacking me. We're happy guys, going to stone up all of this, with membrane this bit down like I say, stone on top, whack off, ready for plum slate. This side here, plum slate over where this root is, you can't really whack that, of course you can't. Obviously plum slate, plum slate, but we're going to whack her all of this before we think about it. So we're going to get it all stoned, whack off, whack off, membrane.
Just had someone complimenting the work, obviously on that latter end of that clip. But yeah, this one is almost done. We've sent the measurements for the gate, I believe. So the guys are gonna make that farm style gate, I think it is. But yes, it's 12. 30 and we're going to get a mcdonald's aren't we mate yes, we're we going to treat ourselves to a mcdonald's because energy levels have gone like that all of a sudden we are starving so let's go get a mcdonald's and see what the rest of the day brings i don't know if dad has filmed yet if he hasn't you're about to see him in the next clip yes guys i'm interrupting the video because merch is now live We've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got beanies. This is going to be the standard that runs along the channel all the time. We will be bringing specials out and limited editions, so keep your eyes out. It's going to be in the description, the first link. You better grab it quick because it's going to sell out. We've only got limited stock. But with that said, back to the video we go. Yeah. Here it is, look. I'm assuming not filmed yet. Nothing, I'm right, there we go. Then. I said if Dad's not filmed, you're going to see him in his next clip. Bloody hell. Yeah, here he is, look. He's back. Island, 1,100 miles, I did. 1,100 miles. Crazy, absolutely crazy, guys. But it's going to be me and Scott doing these gates now. It was going to be me and Dad. Dad's busy. And me and Scott were waiting around for the gates, so it just makes sense for us to go and do these gates now. So we're going to smash these wall. It's actually four gates. It's a driveway gate, double driveway gate, and two singles. Uh, if we run into any trouble, Dad will fly out in the pickup and come and give us a hand where needed. But after after that, what is it? Ten foot three meter gate on Wednesday. If you've watched that video, we should be okay. And it's not our first rodeo with a driveway gate. But yeah, we'll just make sure we've got everything. Capping strips and everything are being made now by Jamie. We're going to put them on a van. And we're going to head out there, guys. And as soon as we get there, we're going to catch up. And we're going to start smashing these gate installs. This is what we're changing. We're changing these ones right here. Just need to get these off. You can see that um, hmm, they're ready. They're ready for an install. This one can be lifted. That's not a problem. It's this one here. That is probably going to be the tricky one but there is a screw down there so we're going to get that off this one over there that just lifted off and then there's another pedestrian gate over there but what a setting eh what a setting let us know if you know where we are in nottingham but that's not bad is it that's not a bad place to live gonna get these gates off and then we'll catch back up, guys. We've got one gate installed. We might be having a change of plan with these gates. I'm just going to run it through with you. But we've got one lovely tongue and groove gate installed. These are electric, look. These are a electric gate. And we don't normally mess around with electric gates. But here they are, look electric and in all the glory but they don't actually work they don't close so to get them off i said we could take that off that's not a problem and we can take that off that's not a problem but what we're going to see or we're going to try and hope to see anyway we're going to see if the the tenant the customer can get these electric gates working again or if they know where the fob is to see if they can get them working again because they do know the lights work those two there that one and that one they do work so if we can get these to work this electric to fold like this we can use our gates attach our gates to this and to this obviously a new new version of this and basically turn it into an electric gate again but until we know or get it working we can't do that so we're going to give it the night to see if there's a solution for these. And if there is, great, then we'll fix it, or not fix it, but fit it tomorrow. If not, we'll, we might just put these on as a manual gate. Uh, but yeah, here's that one, sitting pretty. Couldn't get the middle hinge on that one because of that light there. So we're gonna see if we can adjust something for that. Maybe put a bar underneath as a brace beam. Um, but we'll figure out that one. There's a gate in the back. I've just come to get some tools to help Scott. But yeah, I'll show you that when we go around.
the skirt is going here. We're going to hang off this one. It used to hang on this one, guys, but look at the wobble. It's done differently as well. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is going to be our connection post because this, oh, she is solid. It's in pretty. Point five is going to be a bit blurry, guys, because it's a bit darker. Do apologise. Yeah, baby. Very nice. Good morning. So, good morning, guys. It is freezing absolutely freezing and we've got a drop crossing to do and it's one of those tough ones with a granite curbs so let's get to work good morning it is a thursday morning and it is a cold one today everything's frozen we've got levers frozen on the grabs we're gonna to have to start putting tum bags over the levers now it's getting that time of year it's really really cold back doors are frozen on this grab so I'm just freeing them off now. Yeah, they're all freed off now. I'm doing my vehicle checks. Jordan is loading his wagon up for later. He's on big red all day. He's got bags to do, he's got roads he's got all kinds of stuff. We are on a drop crossing. Stevie's already loaded up. God, I've got to get these piles down big time. Stevie's already loaded up with all the fences, all the tarmac stuff. Jordan is loading. Big red up there with little red. Here it comes. It's a cold one, guys. It really is a cold one. And it's terrible when it's cold weather because everything freezes, like I say. But yeah, I'm going to get my vehicle checks done and be on our way. We're at work, guys. Freezing. Drop crossing stuff ready. But first, we've done a quick delivery. Not that stuff. It was already there. Just dropped this post off. Nah. Go get a hot drink for me, Scott, and Finn. And then. That is also well, see you on site. Here we have the guys just cutting the, the lines in there. What we're doing is dropping this curb here all the way up to this one. Exactly the same we did next door. I did show you this one as well. So we did next door and he's added that to do this. A little bit different this one. We've got to drop this box. I'm going to show you how to drop the box. This hedge is coming out and we're tarmacking right up there for him. It's going to be a good one, guys. It really is. I've allowed a day for this one because I knew how long that one took us up there. The reason why we're keeping the roller running because it is cold morning and I just want to get the engine warmed up on it. Yeah, that's what we did next door, look. And because we did that, this gentleman next door, he wants his done. So yeah, happy days. And he's still looking good, look. Looks really good. Settled in nice and they are using it. Then just bringing it down, just going to connect the cables up, use that as a breaker. Yeah, it's, it's looking good. We're going to get you on time, lads. Get you some action. Dad's already said, I'm sure, guys, yeah. it's the granite curbs and they're not concreted in. So we have to dig super far down, knock them out, cut the curbs down. But again, I'm sure Dad's shown you next door and everything like that. But we've also got to drop this. So we're just taking a sweet time with it now.
So then guys, I have picked up the tarmac now. It works out at two ton. So I've got two ton tarmac on the back and ready to go. The boys are putting the curbs in. So yeah, just weighing off now. Oh, we can get these. It's all paperless as well at this uh, tarmac yard. So just waiting for the thumbs up. We're on our way. That's it, thumbs up, we're on our way. So let's get this tarmac down. Oh, so it's a little bit later, guys. Uh, customer came and delivered some gorgeous, gorgeous chicken burgers. They were very nice, weren't they, lads? Very, very nice. Dad's gone to the tarmac place. We're putting in these granite curbs, cutting, putting one in, cutting, putting one in. Curbs are in. BT's in or Virgin, whatever you want to call it now. It used to be Diamond Cable. We're good to go, guys. Another one done using the existing granite curbs tying in with the street. And as dad's already shown you, this is one we did last time. Yeah, baby. But that's another one hey, done and tomorrow. dusted. Here, cut this tomorrow. Yeah, death side. Another one done and dusted. We haven't shown really much on this, have we? Just had to crack on. Mm. We have got a gate to do, but it's too late in the day. So tomorrow's going to be gate day. So we Those electric gates, we will be getting them done this week. Yeah, uh, but manual, definitely manual. As you can see, we've dropped the the box. The council don't normally let you do that, but he did let me do it, and it was dropped proper. So really? yeah, it's a good one. Guys, already got hard standing, so we can't wait to get his car on. He's looking That's at it. it. He has asked me how long. If you just want to let the viewers how long it is, you can go over it straight away, as long as you don't screw on it. Yep. So using power steering and putting marks in it. So, and you can walk on it straight away. So I've seen yeah. these people here all walking on it. So yeah, another one done and dusted. I hope we don't get many more of these, mate. They take a lot longer than yeah. normal. Yeah, they look yeah. nice. They're just, just a pain. Yeah. Heavy. Um, heavy. Yeah, very <laughs> heavy. Uh, so, but yeah, back to the yard. Washed up, tidied up, get gone. And we've done it five, won't we? We don't mm -hmm. go early at this place. No, we do. No such thing as an early day at D&J. Right. Well, I think once. That's, right. once. Yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, see you back in the yard. Oh, it's another cold day today, guys. Minus one. When? I got in the beast right there this morning. It's me. It's Finnabar. We are on a gate install today. What we're going to do, we're going to strap up these 4B2s right here. And we're going to head out to the job. I believe it's Finn's turn for a Costa because he had a Mon start yesterday. By yours truly. I think I might have won that one though because I'm sure a Monster's 150. I think it cost us £3. You don't mind getting Costas, do you, mate? No. Sheeran... Sure this Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, Sheeran's gear and whatnot. You get the Costas, I'll get the Fat Friday. Deal? Oh, yeah. Deal. Right, so let's get to job. And we've arrived. And we've got the costas. It's that gate right there. We're changing the gate. We're putting a little panel next to it, just like that. And then we're having a panel on top as well. We're doing a literal like for like, apart from the handle. We're gonna put one of our lovely key locks in on this install. So yeah, we're gonna get that down now, guys. We're gonna have a little sip, get warm, and get it down.
She put up a fight, but she's no fight for DNG. Ooh, so after speaking to the customer, we decided to get rid of the panel, that little panel that was there, and we're gonna put a big gate there instead. So this is what we're gonna do. And I'll tell you another reason why we're gonna do that. As you can see, there used to be a post here. Remember guys, this little panel here, but this post wasn't in the ground. Now that's got me a little bit worried as well. That drain's got me a little bit worried. The fact that there's seven Trent water, a drain here has got me a little bit worried. A drain there, right there, where our hole wants to be. So I'm thinking, 4x2 deck joist on the wall, on the wall with a little notch out for here, up to six foot, give or take, and then take the panel up to the eight foot, which was previously there. So we're gonna have one big opener here. Just seems like the way to go when you've got these sort of obstacles. And again, that wasn't even in the ground. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a timber right on that wall. There we go. Panel above, gate in there. We're gonna go get it. It's more that one. I do like jobs like that where you put a, a panel above the gate. It's gonna look very, very smart. Put back to the yard we go. So this is before, and this is now lovely driveway gate, sitting pretty, sitting nice. Did I say driveway? Back garden gate. Nice. Yeah. Back. <laughs> right, this one's a bit of a tricky one. The electric gates and they want the electric gates. It's crazy. Hmm. It's absolutely crazy, if you ask me. I've, I preferred, we could have fastened our gate straight to that and have been electric, but spoke to the customer who ever owns the ass, don't want it, they just want manual gates back, so I don't know why. Hmm. We have had this one out that, and, that, and dug that. That should come off, that should come off that and that, and what I'm going to do is put them to one side so we don't damage them, because if they do ever want to do it, yeah. they can go on. The only tricky thing we've got, we've got these fancy lights, which were, these are where our hinges will go. So I think we can take this light off, put a hinge behind it, and then put that light back on. So we've had this out and dug around it. Have you? Yeah, and then we've just put the sand back to, to get the mechanism out, yeah. see what it looks like. Yeah, that should come off. So as soon as the gate's off, that should come off. We'll put them to one side, and then we're not damaging them and that. If we do want to put them back on. Stevie, we do this for you. Me and Scott. Stevie and Scott's made a lovely job of this. Me and Stevie knew, because this one's quite far out, we took the exact measurements. So yeah, that's looking good. It's got a bolt on it. Yep. There's another gate round the back, which I've done. But yeah, you've had me out. You've had big guns out, haven't you, mate? Big guns for this. Yeah. I just think it's crazy. Just says, chop it off. Chop yeah. it off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's a lovely setting. Mate. Yeah, I've shown them that. Shown them that, they love it. River Trent is high. So yeah, first job is, Cut these bolts off, get the gates off, take the mechanisms off and put them to one side and get our lovely gates put back on. Manual. So let's do it. There we have it guys. Can just show me. This is how these work. This mechanism drops on top of that with like a pivot point. So that, that sits on there like that where that pivot point locks in and then the motor turns it. So we haven't damaged them, so they can actually put them back. Probably cost them 50 quid for an electrician or something for 20 minutes work. And they would have cost about 500, 600 pounds for the motors. And we're just going oh, over like that. Haven't damaged them, because I'm a big believer in that, but someone might want the electric gates back on. Yeah, hence why we're doing them two days later, because 
we wanted to give them the option of yeah. just get an electrician out, fix it, and then we'll make them electric again. But oh wait, all right. So we've got to get that off and that off. Them screws aren't snapping on, are they? Huh? Them screws aren't snapping, yeah. are they? <laughs> Why are we putting bigger screws in this thing? This one? Yeah. Why are we putting bigger screws in these, these posts? Pull it out a bit. Because obviously the post is a bit rotten. It's got to be a woodworm. Pull it out, then. It's got to be a woodworm. Get in a bit. Down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's no way in there. Yeah. 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 Handful. Keep that. Hey, keep that. Hot, isn't it? Is it hot? Hot. Hot. Is it warm? Yeah, it's warm. I'll put the middle one on you, yeah, until I've got the other side on. Yeah. Put the other side yeah, on. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Looks a little bit uh, smaller than that, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 9 minutes. Put 9 minutes. What? Look at that. That's not too bad, is it? But lovely as well. I like how the beam from there runs all the way across. Very nice. It would have been nice electric as well. They will be there, but for the video, you get the gist. I'm going to go forward a little bit, but not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby indeed. Very, very nice. I love how the beam just runs through effortlessly. And I couldn't throw anyone eagle eyes. I couldn't drop that anymore. I want me and Steve want to drop it so it's the same on both sides, but the wiring won't let us. But it was right up here before. Yeah. And... The hinges go 
there, and we'll put the box back over that hinge. Lovely. Proper retrofit, this one, isn't it? That's good. And now uh, just a drop bolt to go there, and then I'm going to come tomorrow to put the drop bolt in. But other than that, I forgot the SPS. But Dad did say I'll go buy one. I do need one. I'm going to buy one. I said, oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll just come out tomorrow. And I'm going to buy a Rye Over one as well. Sound. But yeah, drop bolt there, and we're done for the day. Just before we go as well, hopefully no one doubted us, but of course we've put the hinge on there as well. So Dad's took this off and then put this at the same height as that one. Because that's what we do, guys. As of right now, just using these boulders to lock the gate in until tomorrow, and then I can lock the gates in perfectly right there. But what a setting that is. This is what we're changing. We're changing these ones right here. Just need to get these off. You can see that um, hmm, they're ready. They're ready for an install. Good morning, guys. Uh, some of you eagle-eyed viewers would realise the clip that Dad did earlier in the video is filmed just before this. And yes, we've got the merch on. So remember, just reminding you, if you do want some of the merch, link in the description. Don't feel forced, but as Dad said earlier, it will go fast. And then it will take us a little bit of time to get the stock back in. You have been asking for it, guys, and we've worked so hard to bring you this. It's... They're good quality it's as good. well. They are good quality. We went to a lot of, um, what do you call them? Manufacturers? Yeah, manufacturers. To get the quality of this. I know it's winter, but we've done a t-shirt. We've done a lovely hoodie. Yeah. And we've done the beanie hats. I hope there is something for everyone. Mm -hmm. Someone did say do stocks. Stocks. Socks. <laughs> socks is a good one because it's every size, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so That's we might it, do yeah. some DJ socks with DJ logo on there. That's so we, we'll see, we'll see. Christmas but, just around the corner, but, so it's a perfect time to get your, your little goodies in. We're going to start with these. Uh, you've come to the end of the video, you've seen some exciting stuff from Stevie and Scott. Not much of me. I went to Ireland for a funeral. I didn't go for a holiday, I went for yep. a funeral. It went really, really nice. It was a lovely send off. It was Bernie and Maureen's cousin. So yeah, a lovely send off. I traveled over there, I did 1,100 miles in the car because we couldn't get a fly. And yeah, that's why you haven't seen much of me. You see me at the end of the video and that's it. But I promise you next week, we have got some exciting projects coming up. Stevie yeah. has got an exciting project coming up. I myself has got an exciting project coming up. We are doing Vlogmas. Yeah, so we're doing a Vlogmas. Friday was the first. And then this Monday, so second, third would be the fourth. We are starting on the fifth. But rather than sort of finish early, we'll just extend it as much as we can. The plan is you won't have a video on Monday. So tomorrow you will have a video from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Miss out Saturday. Do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Miss Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And so on, guys. Until there is no content to film. And we'll probably call it for the year there. And have a little rest before we start again. That said, we will bring a couple of lives in there as well because we've yep. got some packages to undo what we're going to do from now we're going to undo the packages as a live video so if you do want to send something to us you don't yep. have to we're going to switch because my arm's killing <laughs> <laughs> if you do want to send something to us you don't have to remember but if you do we're going to open it on a live video you'll get plenty of notice on instagram youtube and a facebook yep. but we're going live just to give you the opportunity and we'll always try and go live about seven o'clock Day, I don't know, it might be Saturday. Depends if we're both busy, if we both yeah. get together. But yeah, like I've said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you'd like to drop us a like, because it costs nothing. Check if you are subscribed. If you're brand new, consider subscribing because we drop a video every Wednesday at 12 and every Sunday at 12. See you Apart next from week. December. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one, guys.